Hello everyone, welcome back. I was a bit busy, so today I am going to make another fishing t-shirt design. So this designs, whatever you can see in my channel, they are just for practice. Like you just cannot make them exactly how I am making and then sell them because that can be copyrighted. I already upload my designs from my different stores, so do not do that. In this one, I am going to use this is as the text. This is my fishing, like my fish vector here. This is from Freepik. Now I am going to focus on this grandpa and this fishing text here. This two is going to be my focus text. And as this is a fishing design, the audience is the audience is of course the male, and they are the kind of hard kind of people. They like everything hard or adventurous. So I am going to use some bolder looking font that is maybe this go everywhere now this is i have used this font in many of my videos but i am telling you because i wanted to clarify why and which type of font i use personally or when i use the font i want to use kind of that so that is fine but i don't want to make my fish very bigger i want to keep my text bigger so I am selecting a ellipse here, taking my ellipse tool. I just want to create a ellipse like this. Now as this is as it is a premium vector from Freepik. So if I just take it and use it in my design like as it is, that can be copyrighted. So that's why I need to do some modifications here. And the kind of modification, I mean that I can add some extra element with the design, I can add some shapes with the design, I can of, of course add some text with the design, so that will make my design a kind of different from the original one. So I am making this to ellipse a group, then I am selecting my this fish vector, press Ctrl Alt F, that means the offset path. Now this is my setting for offset path, you can do it from object path, offset path, you know how to do that. Now I am going to select them all, Ctrl X to cut. Now if I select my this ellipse here, maybe I will bring that a bit down, kind of this area. Yeah, that is fine. And now if I open the transparency for them, I can press Ctrl F. So Ctrl F will make it look like this. Let's make it kind of merge and unite so that it becomes one single shape. You can see this one single shape. So that makes the area invisible like however i want it to be now this is this area is fine because i wanted to keep it on top of my this ellipse here but for the okay let's delete that that is too much bigger i think let's select the fish again and then open make the offset path i want to make it smaller in size 5 pixel is good so let's cut it again now i am selecting my this two ellipse and then inside the transparency press ctrl f so Ctrl F will make it look like this, March Unite, that is fine. And now for this area is looking good. In this area I wanted to make something like this part of the tail part of the fish will be inside the ellipse and this part will be outside of the ellipse. So I am selecting my eraser tool so that I can simply erase this part that I don't want or like this, no problem. So I am going to select my this ellipse here then if I maybe I don't know how it will look okay so let's double click and select one of this ellipse ctrl C ctrl F to paste in front so I have two copies now let's keep on here just like this as you can see there is a little area there and then ctrl X to cut it that is fine now I am selecting my fish vector and then I will open the transparency for it and now I am going to press Ctrl F. So Ctrl F will paste my that ellipse here inside this area. That is fine. But I don't want it to be here like not in this area. I want it to be. I want to hide this part of the design. So how to do that? I am selecting this ellipse here. Like inside ellipse of the transparency. I am pressing C. C for scissor tool. And then I am clicking here. So that will make it cut. This ellipse was a continuous path. Now it is a broken path from here so if i press shift e like eraser tool i can erase this part of the ellipse 
okay sorry for that that's too much let's erase it like this so as you can see that part is erased and it is ended here so this part is the ellipse part i am taking my this pen tool here then if i press shift and click here to join that part and now i can simply make it like this to join with this part again now this is a basically a stroke so that is not showing up or it is not looking like how i want it to look so if i press shift x so shift x will make it fill and that will hide this part of the fish as you can see but as you can see here is it is overlapping with the area i don't want them so i am selecting this one then take my eraser tool and erase it kind of this area from this area and that's fine i think and also this area that is fine then i don't need it from this area i can erase it from here so that is fine so guys as you can see it is now looking like the fish is coming from inside the circle and that's what i wanted to create here so let's group it that is fine i'm going to make it kind of this area but is the name i'm going to okay i can put that with this with one of this ellipse so if i select the smaller ellipse from here ctrl c to copy now double click and ctrl f to paste in front now if i make it bigger like this it is going to look like that okay that's not a problem so inside the transparency whatever we pasted i'm going to delete them and now from this area here this two is grouped together let's ungroup them so that i can delete this part of the ellipse so i only need this part that is fine so is the name i am going to change it to the go everywhere font or let's use another font that is enamela so i'm just going to keep it here ctrl x to cut it i'm selecting this ellipse from here and then i'm going to take my type on path tool i'm going to click here and then press ctrl v so it is going to paste like that and that is fine i just want to make it a very smaller in size so that's why i am pasting it like this maybe a bit not that much is small so this is good and now for this grandpa let's bring this up like this that is fine now okay guys i want to do something else here let's select the ellipse here the single ellipse ctrl c to copy now ctrl f to paste in front let's keep on here and then press ctrl c ctrl f again and then make it bigger like this just make sure these two area this area and this area is similar i am pressing i for eyedropper and then if i click here it is going to pick that size of the stroke that is fine let's select that this two then group okay so something like that now if i select that group i'm going to make it bigger in size kind of this that is fine i think and uh, for this area while it is overlapping with the text okay let's keep it as it is for now i will change that later so i'm going to use my this fishing text same go everywhere a bit a space between the text that is fine now i'm going to make it same size bigger with my that other text fishing and grandpa okay so let's make it a bit smaller so that it is like same size white the grandpa has a lots of text so that part is obviously going to look like going to look bigger that is fine i think let's create a, a stroke here i don't know what i am doing here but i just have an idea in mind and i will try to establish that idea so let's see how it ends up okay i think that is good let's put it here and then i am going to sorry for that i need to make a copy of that one sorry sometimes it happens like this and then if i select this three i can simply align them center wise and then distribute the space between them make them a group so that is fine now as you can see this part is done let's keep it as it is for now i'm going to select that and make it this size font that is fine ctrl x to cut it now i'm going to select this text sorry for that i don't i don't want to cut it right now 
let's select this text ctrl c ctrl f cut paste in front keep it like this maybe and i don't know what happened yeah that is fine and now i want to shift the baseline of my text like this that much is good let's keep it here and then i'm going to change it to is the name and then i'm going to change it to is the game so that is easy for me i think let's bring it a bit closer to each other okay that part is done now grandpa is the name i am going to delete this part i don't need it so i don't think this part is necessary okay let's keep it as it is right for now and i am going to make everything a group here like this part then without this fishing group make them a group control g open transparency and now i want to take a rectangle here of course with fill no stroke so once it is fill i can draw a rectangle like this and that is going to hide my that part so it is going to look kind of this and that is fine i think and now if i select my this one here this part of the ellipse here and i am going to select this part too let's okay let's first select this one or double click this one then i am going to press c for scissor tool so that i can break these points like this and that is fine if i select this part and this part press shift e shift e for eraser tool now i want to erase them like this maybe this part a bit more okay sorry for that i made a mistake i want to delete this part of the graphics just like this that is fine let's select this part and this part i'm going to change the stroke to this option let's make it bigger kind of not that much something like that is good let's select this one press c for the scissor tool break them from this two part and then select this part and this part press shift e for eraser tool and i'm going to erase it like the similar way and then again i'm going to change the stroke size to that and that is a effect i think that is good okay guys so this is how it is looking right now let's keep it as it is for now now i'm going to okay i don't like this part let's change the text here grandpa is the name so let's make it a bit smaller in size and as you can see here the space is not same this gap between this line and this text and the gap between here we can fix that by shifting the baseline of our text kind of that so that is fine so grandpa is the name fishing is the game i'm just keeping it a square shape like this and uh, that is i think best here okay so for this two part it is like looking like a bit busy here so i will what i will do here is i will select one of this ellipse here and then delete it so that is i think going to look good now as you can see here it is not looking very good so if i select my this text here this part of the text ellipse then inside the transparency of it i will find the offset path of the fish i can copy that then selecting clicking here now if i select my this group here or not that group let's just select this ellipse here this part of the ellipse then open the transparency and press ctrl f it is going to paste in here and that part is going to be hidden so that is fine now this part is done it is really looking like a cool badge kind of logo and that is fine i think we don't need to make a design every time with the same style so this is just i'm putting here just to fill the area kind of this okay so this part should be a bit right okay guys grandpa is the name fishing is the game g r a n d p a okay so i think that is fine that is the design for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you love this kind of designs or any kind of design you want to learn you can 
post in our Facebook group. Links in the description. I will try to make them or I will try to show how to make a specific kind of designs. I hope that will help you guys understand. So that's it for today's video guys. See you in the next video. Have a great time. Thank you everyone. Thank you very much.